Hey and welcome to this tutorial on setting up the development environment. In this video, I will show you how to download and install XAMPP, VS Code, and configure XAMPP to work with VS Code for PHP development. I will also show you how to use XAMPP and access and work with PHP files in Astedox. Let's download and install VS Code first, which is a popular code editor among developers. Let's head over to the VS Code website and download the editor. Go download. Next, we need to Windows 10. Okay, save. And all right, now that we have all finished downloading, who here doesn't have already VS Code on their machine? Come on, face up. No one. That's what I thought. Let's skip the boring installation process and jump right into installing the extension you need for PHP development. One important extension is the PHP and telephones, which provide core completion, syntax highlighting, and other features for PHP files. Another useful extension is the PHP debug extension which allows you to debug the php directly from within the vs code okay let's get started we need to create a new file and in this file we open the tag of php and write echo hello world to print in screen hello world hello world and we will save this file as index.php so we will save it in our desktop now we need to get the path for this file and navigate to in the web browser we just copy the path and we will go to the web browser and we will navigate to this link oh why am what's wrong i can't serve this file on web browser hmm it show like it is a txt file not a php why can it cannot be executed raise your hand if you have ever tried to open a php file in your web browser and then spent an hour wondering why nothing happening it's okay we all having been there php scripts cannot be executed directly by our browser they need to be processed by a server before the results can be displayed in our browser. This is why we need a local server like XAMPP or WAMP to set up our development environment. When you install XAMPP or WAMP, you get package of software that include Apache, MySQL and PHP. These tools are configured to work together and provide a complete environment for development and testing application on your machine. Other popular local server is WAMP and MAMP. WAMP is a Windows web based local server, while MAMP is a similar local server for Mac users. And there is also Larago. There is a lot. Search and test and use what you like, it's up to you. In this tutorial, we will use XAMPP. XAMPP is a widely used and supported by PHP development com community. To download XAMPP, go to Google and search for XAMPP. Click on the first link, which will take you to the official Apache Friends website. On the XAMPP website, navigate to the download page and download the latest version for XAMPP on your operating system. In my, I will download the version 8.2.4. I will install wait until the installation is complete for me i have already downloaded XAMPP i will navigate to the download folder and run XAMPP install and choose the components you you want to install in our case we need to install apache and mysql you may be prompted uh, to allow access or to your computer by your firewall make sure that you make access to all components of XAMPP then you will click on next 
and check that my sql and apache and php my admin is checked click next just click next don't rename the folder like i do because i have already exam installed next next and installation will done don't click in console because uh, i click it because i have already exam installed on my machine now when our develop environment development is ready you will need to open XAMPP control panel and start both of Apache server and MySQL database server once they are both running you can open up your browser and navigate to localhost to access the XAMPP dashboard from there click ok now we will open the file explorer go to our local disk the location where we put our exam folder in the installation we will search for exam htdocs and there is where you will want to store all your php files that you want to run on your local server to create a new php file simply open up your text editor or just create a new file txt and rename the extension to php it's up to you then we will open this file and we will copy from index.php the code that we have already and we will pass and then we will go to our web browser and we will put the name of this file in our case is this.php and finally it works and that's it with XAMPP and htdocs folder you can easily create and run php files on your local machine